Greetings fellow coders, my name is Pavel and this is part 2 of the exercise 416 from the book Visual C Sharp 2012 How to Program. Now in the previous video I showed you how to create the class health profile and we created some, you know, we created the uh, constructor, we didn't populate it yet, we didn't initialize any of the properties. Uh, but we created some of the properties, some uh, uh, the automatic properties and the year of birth and gender we validate to make sure that uh, the values are at least uh, semi-reasonable. And um, in this part, in this video, we will, I think we will just put it all together. So um, we have the construct already created and now we have the properties. So now we can assign values to the properties. So obviously our patient first name will equal to the F name, which is the name passed to the constructor. Patient uh, last name equals last name. Uh, patient year of birth will equal to the year of birth. Uh, year of birth and um, patient uh, gender will equal to the gender that is being passed and now we have the patient height and uh, weight which we will be using soon to calculate the BMI or the body mass index so it's patient weight equals weight so all these values were passed into the constructor we will, when we instantiate the object and the values are being passed and processed by the properties. Some of them again are automated that we will simply take the data as is and some of them like these two we will validate. We will take the data and we will perform some validation which we did in the last video. So now let's uh, do some of the calculations. Now the first thing we need to calculate is the age. We have the year of birth, so we can calculate the age quite easily. It's going to be an integer. Uh, we're not concerned about days and months. We will simply con we are concerned with the uh, year only. Um, I'm making age to be a property. Uh, it can be a method, but uh, this is going to be read only property, meaning that it will only have the get, no set, because it's a calculated one. We will do get and return. And we can return the result of a very simple uh, formula, which would be the date time of today, year, minus the patient year, patient year of birth. All right. So, uh, and that's the age. Again, it could be a method. But it, just, it can just as well be a property. It's very simple. Get only property. Uh, today's day, today's year is 2015. So if, uh, let's say, the year of birth is 2000, the age would be 15, obviously. So that's our age. Very simple. Now we can calculate the max, maximum heart rate. So again, I will do again. A property maximum heart rate with a get method or with a get uh, accessor and it's going to be the return and if you remember the uh, maximum heart rate except I misspelled heart and um, it's simply 220 minus the person's age so we will simply do 20 minus the property H. So, all right, so we will go when we come over here, it will hit the H, it comes over here, it checks what the H is, it returns it, and it returns the uh, maximum heart rate. So, if the H is 20, the maximum heart rate, the returned value from this uh, property will be uh, 200. So we have that, and now we can do uh, the maximum target rate, which is basically, uh, let me just uh, show you here, 
the target rate is the range a safe range when you exercise that should be 50 to 85 percent so the maximum uh, recommended heart rate would be the 85 percent and the minimum recommended heart rate heart rate for the for the workout would be 50 percent otherwise it would not be in a very effective workout i guess so uh, we go to public integer maximum target rate and just like before we will simply do the return simple return again this could be method but since it's such a simple one line code i just doing it as, a, as properties and the return will be we are going to return uh, we will convert to integer the maximum heart rate times 0 0.85 that will give us the 85 uh, percent except I have too many brackets again so like that so 0 0.85 multiplied by the maximum heart rate will give us the top percentage or the top heart rate which is gonna be 85 percent of the maximum heart rate over here again we are calling that property maximum heart rate to calculate the maximum heart rate and then multiply it with the 0 0.85 and I'll copy paste it because the minimum uh, target uh, rate is uh, the same formula except it's 50 percent so it's 0 0.5 so that's that and you know what i forgot to uh kind of make it a little bigger uh i hope you could see it before i mean it's uh, i'm trying to record it as detailed uh, and as possible so but i think a little bigger font doesn't hurt right so let's do the uh, BMI. So we will we, can, we will get a double because BMI can return uh, decimal points. It's gonna be a simple property. Once again, we will return. And remember the formula? Well, I don't, but here it is: weight in pounds divided by height in inches multiplied by height in inches in other words uh, height in inches squared and then the whole thing multiplied by 703 for some reason all right so uh, uh so what was it patient weight patient weight was something that is passed into the constructor so we have that and there's a division and you could do patient height multiplied by patient height or you can just do something like math that the power of and it's gonna be patient height and it's gonna be two because it's a uh, squared and that's uh multiplied by 703 the whole formula like that all of this is multiplied by 703 so you got patient height divided by uh, i'm sorry patient weight divided by patient height times patient height which is patient height to the power of two did i say squared i'm sorry to the power of two of course uh, I'm pretty sure I said squared before, but I meant power of two, of course. And uh, then all of it, whatever the result is, we will multiply by 703, because that's some kind of a constant that uh, is used in the multi calculation of the BMI. And if you remember, uh, there's uh, this kind of like a little little table that says whether the person is uh, normal weight or underweight or overweight or obese so we can do one more and we will do BMI evaluation and let's make it a method this time 
it could be a property just as well but uh, we can simply do if BMI is less than and I believe it was so if it's 18 or 18.5 so if it's less than 18.5 then we can return uh, under weight else if the BMI is less than I think it was 25 I believe yep uh, 24.9 is the maximum so if it's less than 25 25 then we will return normal else if BMI is less than I believe it was 30 yep it's 30 here so if it's less than 30 then we will return overweight and finally if it's neither of them then we, we can simply return uh, what was it obese oh, what is that return obese now let me see so if it's under 18.5 18.5 is the cutoff so if it's 18.5 it's already normal so it must be less than 18.5 like 18.49 then it's underweight if it's uh, uh, under 25 25 again is the cutoff so 24.9 so that would be normal if it's less than 30 like 29.9 then it's overweight and everything else would be uh, obese now we can do it this way simply because if any of this condition is true none of the other will be evaluated if you did it the other way around if you go like with if bmi is less than 30 then you would get it all wrong because 18.5 is less than 30 and 25 is less than 30 so you would get the results wrong but if you start from the smallest if if that's true if it evaluates to true it simply returns underweight and none of these will ever be executed or even uh, the conditions will not be even checked because we have the return here but if this is not true then it goes to the next one and check if this one's true if it is it executes this return if it's not it goes over here if this one's true then obviously it executes this return and if this one's not true this one's not true and this one's not true then it goes to else and it will simply return obese and uh, yeah that's uh that's our class that's i think complete class with all the properties and calculated properties uh, we have the uh, constructor so in the next video uh since this is already running in uh, like 13 minutes i'll make one more video to conclude this uh we will implement we will uh implement the whole class it will instantiate the object and display the information so uh, i hope to see you in the next video take care